I'm trying to determine how loud the graphics card actually is, but I can't because of how loud that stock heatsink fan is. So this transistor ride along is not gonna start in my room or my house as usual because I was already out and about and uh, I had to plan this meetup because myself and the person's schedule was uh, kind of cramped. So this was the only time we could do it. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to pick up a graphics card right now. It is the EVGA for the win edition GTX 1080. And that's not something that I would normally pick up. That's actually way out of my own budget range. But I'm picking this up because I'm doing a build for a friend. And his price range is over $1,000 for the system. And initially we were actually targeting the GTX 1070, but their prices are so bad right now. If they are in stock, they're usually over 400 bucks. And I can't find anywhere uh, used on eBay or Craigslist. B stock, I can't find anywhere where uh, I can get a GTX 1070 for under 400. And I figured, you know what? I'm seeing a lot of GTX 1080s. They are less affected by the, the whole mining. Uh, I hate using that word craze. The whole uh, mining situation, we'll say that. So I found one, uh, this For The Win Edition one for, the guy listed it for $500. I found it on Craigslist and I didn't want to pay 500 though. I thought that was a little bit much. So I offered 450 and he didn't really try to haggle or anything in between. He, he agreed. So if you look at that, compared to any 1070 that I would be able to get, uh, it's only 50 bucks more and I think the performance would be worth it for that added 50 bucks. So uh, I'm going to get it right now and we are meeting in downtown Seattle. This 1080 isn't the best deal ever, but it's also not a bad deal. The thing too about when you do high-end builds, you're not gonna be able to get as good of discounts as if you do like low-end or uh, mid-tier. The prices of the parts just don't depreciate that fast. It hasn't been enough time for it to depreciate. If you're getting the high-end stuff, it's gonna be the newest stuff, and it's gonna be the most expensive stuff. It's just the way that the high-end market works. So because we are building a higher-end system, uh, my buddy was okay with you know not getting the best discounts on all the parts. I tried I tried to ask the guy if I could pay with uh, digital, like PayPal and Venmo, like I always do. But this time it didn't work because I'm not trying to carry around like 450 bucks worth of cash. Uh, that's a lot of money. I, I don't know. I could lose it or something. I'm irresponsible and I lose things pretty easily. So I asked him if he would do those, but he said cash only. He probably thinks I'm gonna like try to reverse the charge or something. So I do have the cash with me. Sure. Cool. Alright, we're good 
you go. Thank you very much. It's all right. Yeah, have a good time tonight. All right, man. Yeah. It's switching up to the Oh, All right, time to go home and test this out. Hi. You want lemonade and the macaron? Mm -hmm. mm, sure. It's legally coy. I gotta test this real quick, so I'll be right back. Bye. Bye. All right, so this is going to be the test bench to test the card out, it's the 860K uh, with 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Here it is, since I didn't really get to show it while we were at Starbucks because I just put the camera down. But uh, pretty clean, dust free. So I gotta get drivers for it first, which is the most annoying thing usually. So I'm just gonna run superposition real quick and check out the temperatures and the performance. And I'm gonna put it to 4K optimized, sure. Uh, actually, let's push it. Let's go to 8K optimized. Oh, by the way, the fan noise is not from the graphics card. As you can see, the fans aren't even spinning yet. Uh, it's not even under load. It's that loud stock AMD fan. Uh, I've had people complain in uh, another Craigslist ride along when I got that 770 that I had an eight minute video with no benchmarks. These cards have been out for long enough where if you want detailed benchmarks, you can go on YouTube uh, and you can find benchmarks, especially way more benchmarks than I usually do because I don't have all the games and all the programs and high-end systems and stuff. These Craigslist ride alongs are just to kind of show you the interactions that I have and the different transactions that I make on Craigslist. Uh, for the most part, they're just kind of like vloggy videos for people who like to watch that kind of day in the life sort of stuff. So you're not gonna get full benchmark in this video. We're just testing to make sure this works. 3,197, the max temperature was 77 degrees and the average FPS was basically 24 with a min of 20. We got that awesome Athlon 860K, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and the GTX 1080. So that's gonna be about it. Um, I'm gonna actually run other benchmarks just for like a few hours to make sure everything is okay, make sure there's no problems, but I'm not gonna record all that because that's gonna be boring for you guys to watch. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this Craigslist ride along. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys picked up anything on Craigslist recently. It didn't have to be like a good deal. If you picked up anything that's like hardware or computer related, let me know what you picked up, how much, if you thought it was a good deal or not, uh, just so we can discuss in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you as always for watching. I really do appreciate it because these videos, they don't get as many views as like my full build videos and stuff but I enjoy making them and some of you out there really enjoy watching it so I continue to do it and it's just kind of like a history of what I buy on Craigslist especially with like a purchase like this this is a really big purchase I've never bought a graphics card new or used like a single graphics card for that much $450 and it's technically not mine but I went through uh, the whole transaction and I'm going to be building the system using it so uh, this is pretty exciting this is going to be a pretty good build uh, so yeah, uh, I will see you guys down in the comment section as well as in the next video. Bye.